Hey, this is Karthik at Dabble Lab and in this video, I'm going to walk through on how to use Alexa's device location API to get the user's address. Now, this could be useful if you wanted to say, um, give recommendations for restaurants nearby or find nearby store locations of your retail outlets. But do remember that the address that you get here is the address that the user has entered inside the Amazon Alexa app. It is not the actual location of the Alexa device. Now this is because the eco range of devices do not support GPS or any other location capabilities. As usual for this tutorial we are going to be using a template from skilltemplates.com which has a collection of templates for you to get easily started with Alexa development. So go ahead and sign up on skill for a free account on skilltemplates.com. Now let's head over to our terminal and get started. So I'll use Alexa skills kit and type in ask new template URL followed by the URL which would be skilltemplates.com slash templates.json now when I press enter I'll get a list of templates that I can choose from I'm going to choose device location API starter now once I press enter it will initialize a skill project from the chosen template there we go the template is now cloned on my machine and here here it is now before we dive into the code let's quickly deploy the skill and see how the skill works let's go into the folder and do an ask deploy I'm going to fast forward to the skill being deployed so now that the skill has been deployed let's head into the developer console and test out the skill so we can see our skill here let's just click on this and head over to test and type in here Alexa ask location starter what is my address please enable device location permissions in the Amazon Alexa app so now you can see that Alexa is asking for permissions and the way a user would do that is by giving the permissions when enabling the skill on the Alexa companion app. However, during testing, we should head over to alexa.amazon.com, click on skills here, go to your skills, click on all skills here, click on your skill here that is device location API starter, click on settings and then we can manage the permissions from here so let's me, let me just click on manage permissions here it will ask me to log in let me log in real quick so once i'm back here it's going to ask me to allow the skill to have access to the device address so i'll just turn this on click on save permissions and you can see that the permissions have been now granted so let's just go back into our test console once more and type in Alexa ask location starter what is my address there we go Alexa is picking out my address now so let's just jump into the code now and see how this all works so the first thing that we are going to do is open the skill.json file and look at the permissions here so the permission that we need to access is Alexa devices all address full read so if you add this that means you get access to the permissions that we are talking about about getting the address from the user so once we have added this to our skill.json file let's head over to our index.js file and here you can check out this intent here which is the device location intent handler this is where the code for getting the user's address is written so the first code that you see here is request envelope dot context dot system dot device so what we are doing basically here is getting the systems device ID and storing it in a in a variable called as device ID now uh, sorry in a constant called as device ID now once we've done that we are making use of an API called as the service client factory which is responsible for getting a lot of information about the customer and what we are doing is we are creating an instance of get device address service client so once we have done that the next line is about getting the full address of the 
device. Now notice that in the get full address method, I've passed the device ID that we got from the request. Now once we've done that, the next step is to speak out the address of the user. But before that, what happens is the API first gets your location from the Alexa app. If it does not find it there, it gets the address from your Amazon account. Now in the rarest of the rarest case, your user may not have an address. So we should first handle that. So that's why you see this code here, where if the address is undefined or some of those uh, address lines are undefined, you just say that you did not get an address. But in case the user's address came through, what we would do is we would just ask Alexa to say your complete address is and then have your complete address spoken here. Now your complete address is comprised of the address line one, the state or region and your postal code. These are the, these are the address parameters that you get from the API. Now what we also do is we wrap this entire code in a try catch block. Now the reason why we do that is sometimes the user may not have given permissions or revoked permissions for your skill. So in case that happens, we need to, we need to inform the user that they, they have not given the per permissions and ask them for the permissions. And now that's all about the address API. So do try it out and let us know how that went for you. Again, all of this code is available at skilltemplates.com. If you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the Dabble Lab YouTube channel. If you get somewhere, leave a comment and we will help you out. Thank you.